Hi, I'm Layo Adegoki. Here's your channel's TV evening news recap for March the 1st, 2021. Dr. Ngozi okonjo iweala has officially resumed as Director General of the World Trade Organization, WTO. As she took up the new role earlier today in Geneva, the former Nigerian finance and foreign minister said she was eager to get straight to work as the first woman and first African to lead the World Trade Organization. Hopes abound that the 66-year-old will be able to help the WTO address a range of towering challenges, including navigating through the global economic crisis triggered by the COVID-19 pandemic. The National Primary Healthcare Development Agency has announced that Nigerians can now register for the COVID-19 vaccination via its website. This comes as the country is expected to receive almost 4 million doses of the vaccine tomorrow, courtesy of COVAX, a global initiative backed by the World Health Organization. Earlier on today, the Minister of State for Health, Dr. Olorunim Bemamora, noted that frontline health workers would be one of the first set of people to get the vaccine. The Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, has denied reports of any increment in the price of premium motto spirit petrol in the country in March 2021. The NNPC disclosed this in a statement signed on Sunday by the Group General Manager, Group Public Affairs Division, Dr. Kenny Obateru. On the international scene, the army in the Democratic Republic of Congo says it has killed 16 militia men from the patriotic and integrationist Congo forces for the loss of three soldiers in a three-day push against an armed group in the country's northeast. The FBIC is one of an estimated 122 armed groups tallied in Congo's four eastern border provinces of Ituri, North Kivu, South Kivu and Tangaika in a recent report from analysts at the Kivu Security Tracker. And in sports, former Croatia coach and Dynamo Zagreb star Zlatko Kiko Franca died on Monday at the age of 64, the National Football Federation has said. The legendary Croatian footballer and coach died in Zagreb, the Federation said in a statement, without providing further details. The Zagreb born was hospitalized last month due to liver problems, according to the state-run Hina News Agency. And that's it on the Channel TV Evening News Recap. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm Layo Adegoti. Thank you for watching.